The Immortal John Hancock here and thought I'd do a fun discussion about what is retro these days? What is retro now? Uh, retro gaming has changed over time and I thought I'd do a fun talk about it and in the comments below definitely want you to give your opinions of what I'm going to say in this video and you know I've been gaming a long time. I'm an old school gamer and I've been doing this a long time. been gaming over 40 years. Uh, I remember my earliest memories was, uh, you know, playing on a bar stool, Space Invaders, at Shakey's Pizza, one of my earliest gaming memories in the arcades, uh, going to my cousin's house and playing Atari 2600 Combat. You know, those are, you know, going, going way back, you know, Atari in the 70s. Things have really changed over time. And games, people have gone and grown up with different consoles. And so, uh, you know, definitely, you know, and uh, over time, you know, even Nintendo is long in the tooth now, original NES. And so lots of different people and gamers of different ages have, have grown up with different things. And, you know, I have a definitive definition of retro gaming. And retro gaming, to me, oh, God, just wants to say hi. <laughs> so... My definition of retro gaming really is anything that's 10 years or older. And I know a lot of people are going to have different opinions of that, but I'm in that school of thought where anything that's like going, you know, 10 plus years, you know, you could even technically think of a 3DS as retro gaming. And, you know, we for sure, uh, you know, going, going back 10 years, you know, we're even looking at Wii U now as retro gaming, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but I'm in that school of thought. Any, any game that's 10 years or older, out of print. Uh, some people, their definition, it's it's two systems out of print, uh, out of production. So we for sure, you know, PS3, 360, PSP, a lot of people have that definition of what's retro gaming. And it's kind of interesting. And so, uh, you know, the bottom line is that that needle has moved. You know, there's people that are younger and younger that have grown up their entire life gaming. Uh, it's not just a boomer and Gen X thing, uh, you know, millennials, Gen Z, um, you know, I'm even looking at my son who's a teenager and, you know, he's old school to him and retro gaming is his, er, you know, earlier memories is playing Minecraft. You know, Minecraft's been around a long time. You know, you, could, you know, is, is that okay? Is that considered retro gaming? Some of the earliest versions of M Minecraft, you know, and I, I don't think it's one person's uh, definition determines what retro gaming is. I think this is a, a, a personal answer and it's different for everybody. And, you know, you know, definitely that's my opinion is that, you know, my definition may not meet your definition and that's okay. You know, retro gaming is, is, is different for everybody. You know, I'm 47 years old. I'm, you know, I definitely have an opinion of retro gaming and, you know, what that looks like. And people my age are going to have definitions that are different than mine you know but for me uh, i don't think retro gaming needs to to fit one definition either and so you know you're going to have your opinions you may think that you know 3ds is too new uh or that's not old enough or you know retro gaming needs to be blocky graphics like atari nintendo and you know sega master system sega genesis 16-bit era you know that's retro gaming and you know, how dare it be 3D or how dare it be it on a new system. But before I continue this conversation, I'm definitely gonna do a free plug for Old School Gamer Magazine. They're my buddies and you may wanna check out their Kickstarter. Here's their commercial. Remember the ritual of blowing into a cartridge to make it work? The unmistakable sound of a coin dropping into an arcade or pinball machine, or the exhilaration when your initials claimed a top spot on the high score leaderboard? Pepperidge Farm remembers, wait, that's a wrong commercial. Anyway, that is the heartbeat of gaming's golden age. An old school gamer magazine invites you to relive and rediscover these moments with us. As we embark on our seventh year, we'll dive deeper than ever. Beyond Atari's classics and Zelda's adventures, beyond consoles, arcades, and pinball, we are about the stories and the people behind the games and the resounding impact that these classics still hold even today. From developer interviews to forgotten gems, Old School Gamer is your passport to gaming's rich history. 
We've been honored to be your guide through gaming's storied past. And with your support, our seventh year will be even bigger than what came before as we continue to celebrate, analyze, and honor the classics that have defined the world of gaming. So, help us relive the glory days, rediscover old gems, and forge new gaming memories. Let's make the seventh year of Old School Gamer Magazine the grandest chapter yet. There's a wide range of great pledge rewards available. From digital and print subscriptions all the way through advisory and publisher board positions, there's sure to be an option that's right for you. Join our journey. Share this campaign with fellow retro enthusiasts and pledge now. Let's ensure that Old School Gamer Magazine keeps the golden age of gaming alive and thriving. And we're back. So... There's also another category of new games that look like old school games. So, you know, that, that retro gaming look. You know, is that retro gaming? Is playing like a 2D style game, is that like retro gaming? Even It looks like an old game, but it's a new game. You know, it's in this, we're in this weird time where, you know, video games are coming out all the time. There's a lot of new games that mimic old games. And, you know, that's in a weird kind of category, even though it technically isn't over 10 years old it looks like an old game and there's several games that are coming out like that but you know at the end of the day it's just an amazing time to play games we have so many choices to play games and just find a game that you enjoy and and play it uh or celebrate it and you know play it with friends uh it's so neat to uh, be part of this hobby i absolutely love gaming and i love talking about video games uh i'm a believer that there's probably at least one good game on most consoles uh, that have came out. Uh, yes, there's some stinkers out there, but you know what? I can find the good in anything and I enjoy doing so. So in the comments below, I definitely want to hear your opinions. You're going to have strong opinions about it. I know it. So what is retro gaming to you now? Uh, what are the earliest games that you grew up with? Uh, do you have a very strict definition of what retro gaming is? And as always, thank you for coming to my channel. I enjoy having video game conversations such as this. I've been enjoying doing my channel for over 14 years and will continue to do so and having some fun. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week and it helps me out as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock. Thank you so much, and you take care. Don't forget to click the link below where you can help and support Old School Gamer Magazine on Kickstarter right now. Most appreciated.